What's up guys? Welcome back. We're at round two coverage for the 2018 U.S. Women's Disc Golf Championship. This coverage is brought to you by Innova and the PDGA. I'm Lisa Fakus. And I'm Madison Walker. It looks like today we get to hang out with Paige, Sarah Hokum, Kristen Tatar, Katrina Allen. Awesome. Um, all three of the ladies in second place in a tie. Uh, it's very exciting. So much work to be done out here. We're getting to play the short layout of the Renegade course. Uh, lots of birdies. Birdies everywhere. Um, so we'll get to see a lot of big putts hopefully today. Yeah, definitely. Hole one is a hyzer. <laughs> Eric Oakley? Oh God, is that good? <laughs> well, I feel like he's really getting close. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, hole one's a hyzer. It was cold this morning. It was in the lower 40s. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see Paige with the beanie on. Um, this is a 335 foot pure hyzer uphill. Not Do you know what they call beanies in Canada? Tukes. Yeah. Yeah. I learned that today. It's really interesting. <laughs> but people in Michigan, even though they're so close to Canada, don't know that. There's another word they use for beanies. I think what? toboggan. Oh. It's kind of strange. That that makes sense in yeah. Michigan. Oh, totally. Mittens and toboggans. Welcome <laughs> <laughs> with the sidearm uphill. Oh, is... Stop. Uh oh. Stop. Okay. She still gets some distance up yeah, the hill. Kind of went in the right direction. Um, just on the side there. That's the only real trouble you can get in on this hole is being uh, to the in the right uh, shul. Uh, makes it for a little bit of a tougher look, but in reality, it's pretty wide open. Katrina throwing a hyzer flip that finishes out getting way up there. Good distance on that pole. We get to watch Kristen Tatar crush again. Like she turns it over. Oh no, catches some branches way up high, drops straight easy down. Easy to do on this hole. Just to kind of, you want to rip it so hard up that hill. Sometimes grip locks happen. She's a really good upshot player. And is it close? I love her forehand. It's so different. Oh, what an awkward upshot here. Leaning backwards. Nice. Ooh, wow, she gets it up inside the circle. Yeah. Good result. He looks like she has a long birdie putt. Oh, gives it a good run. Just a little yeah, short. She had a nice look there. Katrina. Katrina with the only legitimate birdie look. Oh, sweet. She looked unconfident when that left her hand, but <laughs> it was right in the chains. Sometimes you get nervous on these chain stars that nubbing is a real thing. Uh, if you're yeah. a little bit too short, it'll catch a nub and flip it backwards. Right. So. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> How come being goofy? <laughs> um, that was not a birdie. That was a bogey from Hokum. Kristen saves her par, and Paige saves her par as well. And we move on to the little bowl hole. Yeah, the bowl hole. Par. <laughs> Part three on hole two is 254 feet. It's a cute little straightforward hole. Yeah, it's so weird. You can't barely see the basket. You can only see the flag Yeah. Uh, from the tee pad. So you just kind of are throwing at this little flag and it looks flat. You can almost not see the bowl from the tee pad as right. well. You're just throwing at a little flag in the middle of the fairway. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it's a little putter, hyzer. Mm -hmm. um, oh, nice. <laughs> Sounds like Paige is Katrina's biggest fan. Fill it up. Oh. Nice. Leaves it a little short, but she'll have a or a little bit left. She'll have a look at a putt. It's such an awkward little putt when you're up on top of the bowl. Definitely, gotta get low. It's such a low putt. Oh, Kristen's gonna have a tough putt there. Yeah, she leaves it a little bit short. Maybe it slipped out early. Hook them with the old one glove. My favorite look on cold mornings. <laughs> oh, nice wide flick. I love an awkward little putt down yeah, into the bowl as well. I always well. like the knee putt here because you can get like the up and down play a little bit better. I agree. Kristen makes it look easy. Not easy. Jeez. Just straight in. Yeah, it's weird to putt down like that. She yeah, just it made is. it look like it was level. Right. 
Mm. Hope I'm sh wanting that birdie. Let's see if uh, I'm surprised no one takes a knee here, but uh, okay, yeah, there just we go. Kidding. Makes it at least closer to eye level. Right, and then you can go. Yeah. Great just birdie from Paige. Heart of the chains. Katrina with a really excellent drive here. Oh, no, no way. Oh, shoot. Such a surprise there. Looks like she got nubbed. She's one of those players that just doesn't take much time on her putt. Yeah. She's just a quick putter. Doesn't like to give herself time to think about it, which I can totally understand. Yeah, it totally works for some people. Mm -hmm. It's just unfortunate to see that one not stick. Uh, this one's 286 feet. It's a really, uh, it's short, but you kind of have to throw a bombing hyzer to get around these tr two trees. Um, you can, if you hyzer out a little bit early before them, skip underneath and give yourself a putt as well. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like it's, it almost plays a little bit longer than 280. Just slightly, and if you're short under those trees, uh, sometimes it gives you no look. So you want to make sure to kind of give it that extra bit, which Paige does. Give that comeback open. Paige is really good at, on these short shots that are kind of awkward, working that super high hyzer line. Uh, kind of like more of a dude shot. You can see Kristen doing it as well. Um, just really using the space because they don't, it's like such an awkward shot to take off distance. Yeah. And still get that like so, yeah. kind of crashing hyzer angle. Yeah. And here Katrina is going to go high too with her line, it looks like. Um, shaping up her shot so it hyzers in nicely. Wow. She's kind of got that one dialed in, I would say. Yeah, such a great um, shot. Beautiful. Hope I'm looking for the forehand route. Hope I'm kind of similar with that angle high play she keeps it a little lower than i would have thought but um she has the distance i didn't even know there was a there. forehand yeah there's totally a forehand line it's just blind mm -hmm. so it's it's tough to commit to it if there's one she will find it yeah it's it's a little wider than i'm comfortable with so Paige and kristen both with long birdie looks uh, Paige has a nice wide stance going on right now with her putt and good just a little low in the cage yeah it looks like she kind of uh has switched over oh uh tough low limbs looks like Paige has kind of switched over uh from a stagger stance to a straddle yeah um, looks like she's trying some new stuff out with her putt she's mm -hmm. been having a little bit of putting woes for the past month right um, but, everyone goes through that oh my gosh um, yeah it's good to keep it fresh and, and see what's working for you at the moment but i like Paige's stance yeah she has a really like um just good stature about <laughs> her uh, posture and how she stands strong with her putt. And with her being a spin putter, str uh, straddle putts can work really well too. You don't right. need to be in a stagger at all times. No. Hokum saving the par. I know she wanted that birdie. That's a gettable one for her. Totally. And this is another gettable birdie with being in the shorts here, especially for um, uh, par three, uh, hole four, 243 feet. Uh, this is kind of a flick hole mm -hmm. through the this gap right here right to the basket there's a backhand turnover as well that's a little bit trickier but i think the i think the flick's the good play here right um More not a natural line yeah not really a whole lot of even trouble. Katrina throws a flick yeah. she's pretty good at him yeah she is turns over a little bit more she gets a good straight distance so she'll have a putt looks like she's about pin high yeah it's a little longer than she wanted not a whole lot of trouble you can get in here. Paige dripping that overstable disc. Very nice. Wow. Very nice. The only real problems would be getting tangled up in those early trees, but these ladies are look, making these forehand lines look easy. Oh, just pops up early. Oh no. That one big bush. <laughs> the, just swallowed it. It right? does. It's so thick in there too. We had to look for a disc in that on our card, and it's it, this will get caught up in the top. Hokum uncharacteristically does not pin this one. She'll leave herself a long birdie it's putt. Just that maybe a little bit awkwardly short for her. Yeah, that's you true. Christian has no problem getting up and down from there. We get a graphic. Looks like Katrina lining up a birdie putt. Yeah. Boom! Huge hit. No problem. Nice to see her hit that. Mm hmm. Bouncing back. 
I read that she was working on her putting, so it's good to see that really Paying improve, off. and she's hitting a lot of putts this week. Mm. Hokum leaves it a little short. Great Sorry. run. Paige mm. looking for her birdie. Nice. Such a good flick from Paige. Uh, moving on to another, I, I, I need to stop saying it's short. A lot of these holes are short because it is the short layout. It's um, it's 211 feet, kind of a little straight putter shot, or uh, you'll see maybe some of these ladies throw a hyzer, kind of a crash in hyzer. Um, it was a little bit breezy, so I think that we'll see a lot more hyzers than we will the straight putter shots, but really you just want to crash in right inside these trees. Looks like Cat is playing the putter shot. Right at it. Very interesting line. I love that. Paige going with the straight putter. Squeaks past that tree. She'll be inside the circle. Looking good there. Oh, slips out low, but gets a nice bounce. She'll have a look at a putt. Hokum working the backhand. Puts it out a little wider than you want. It catches some branches. It'll be be a long putt. Oh, oh wow. Squeaks in there. Almost no chains. Beautiful. Lovely putt. Um, looking at a long birdie. Oh, Ugh. almost saves it. I know it's got to be frustrating working through the new backhand woes. Paige saving a birdie from the bush. Mm -hmm. Lots of thick overgrowth inside the circle on this course. Um, we'll see some scrambling for sure. Katrina with a tap in. Nice birdies by these three ladies. And a good par. It's just you want to get that bird. It's a little disappointing it's when you don't. Too short to miss. Yeah, I know. Uh, moving on to a temporary hole, six A. Uh, this is a straight shot. Mm -hmm. uh, forehand, backhand, whatever you want to do, just straight, 233 feet. There's a little guardian bush on the right hand side and um, some shul on the left hand side that you don't want to get tangled up in. Right. Just no OB here. Just straightforward. We might see some ladies going a little bit past this. It's such a weirdly short shot. It's tough to even give it a run at the chains, mm -hmm. the way those uh, trees are in line with uh, the distance of the basket. Trina makes it look super easy. Yeah, you just want to nestle up like she did. Paige going full. Whoa! Well, that's how you do it. Paige with the ace run. Brilliant. Oh, here we go. Follow flight. Ah, she loved it. Great <laughs> shot. <laughs> she was hoping for another ace. <laughs> it was so close. Kristen working that hyzer Kristen, line as well. I like that line. That's it nice and close. I'm loving these little putter hyzers. They're so good at them and they're so much fun to watch. Yeah. Hokum throwing a little nice soft forehand. She'll be stuck under a bush, but she will have a... Uh, straddle oh no just weird footing way just in the middle yeah, of you're it way under there that christmas tree yeah. all right what a great awkward putt <laughs> good to stretch out from the knees yep good she needs a birdie yep get it going there we go No problem, birdies. Katrina will definitely tap in hers as well. And we have a uh, star birdie from the lead card. Sweet. Yeah, 
exactly what you want to do. Just get these shorties. And part three, hole six, is over the tops of these trees. Uh, there's the OB sand trap right there on the left side. And that's the only OB on this hole, but um, there's a lot of trees in the middle of the fairway. So <laughs> if you're going to pick a low line, um, just be real cautious about those trees. Very not, tight. I like to go up above them so it's kind of, if you can, just, you know, power one over the top. You're kind of elevated here on the tee. Yeah, the bottom kind of drops out on this fairway, so you it's a little bit more feasible to go over the top. It's not as awkward right. as you would think Right. throwing over, like, tall, mature trees. And it's kind of a, if you can get a lot of uh, strength on that, it's reachable, mm -hmm. too, for um, giving a close putt. And if you're short, you will still have a look at the basket as well, so. Um, right. Just so important. Oh, hello. Super good. What a weird, awesome kick. I know, right? Right through the middle of the trees as well. Field goal. <laughs> yeah, totally. Kristen, awesome power. Gosh, you can crush. Great height. That's going to come in. Such a pure hyzer line the whole way. Really great, yeah. Really great. Holcomb's going to take that over the OB line, it looks like. Why not? Keep going. She can get there. Okay. Oh, scary. Very <laughs> scary. And that putt is kind of blocked by that tree. But um, I know I heard Hokum say she had was having some issues out here, have, feeling like she was having to throw more backhands than she's comfortable with, and having hmm. a hard time finding forehand lines, which is understandable. Interesting. Yeah. Oof. Katrina looking for her birdie. Putt. Good hit for the two. Kristen plays really fast too. Just steps up and knocks it down. I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. Katrina doesn't play slow either. No, that's <laughs> for sure. She usually keeps the pace going. Yeah. <laughs> When, uh, when possible. And the pace of the cards around. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Hope I'm saving the par as well. All right, another temporary hole, 7A. It's a really tight turnover shot here. 185 feet to the open part of the field here. It's blind from the tee pad, so you kind of, uh, you can't really see it unless you lean off the front left corner of the tee pad, so you kind of just yeah. have to know where it is and throw where you think. Yeah, here's a pro tip. <laughs> Don't grip lock. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's not what you want. Yeah, Paige maneuvers He's... nicely. Oh no, she gets a little oh, weird roll away there. Little cut roll action. Uh, it's it's even it's kind of a low ceiling as well off the tee. There's a little you can see that brand, that tree that's kind of bending over, um, makes all the shots very awkward. Kristen makes it look easy with that stance on the tee box. Really nice shot. Katrina gonna do a standstill I don't turnover. Like the standstill idea. Slow it down. Okay. Plenty of power. Wow, really nice. Kind of a late flip. Right. Beautiful Good control on that. Welcome's got those. Angles covered. There you go. Boom. Perfect. Sweet. Nice and high. Really hyzered. Paige with the outside the circle putt to save her birdie. Oh, shoot. All over the high basket. High low, but not in. <laughs> <laughs> Kristen's been draining these all day. No and problem. Again, solid. She's one off the lead with that. She's pretty stoked too. Just, you know, pops in a, you know, circle's edge putt. It's just like, yeah, no big deal. Katrina's tied for the lead now with that birdie. Tight race at the top. Mm-hmm. Hogan's like, I got birdies too. Nice. Paige Chicken Far moving on to one of the I think one of the more fun holes on the course. I don't know why I like it so much. It's a wide open tee shot, but uh, you can kind of work whatever angle you want on the way into the green, set yourself up for whatever shot you want to make. 
uh, dead straight. There's a couple guardian trees that block the basket. There's that little OB bunker just short of it. If you go on the right hand side, there's a little, you know, kind of pitch over uh, route as well that takes the bunker out of play. I personally like that, but pretty much anywhere you land, you're going to have a little pitch up. Yeah, you want to put a lot of power on this drive. Just get a lot of forward action and then kind of finish right. But that's too right where Kristen landed. You want to get way more like straight on that. But she's actually far enough down the fairway where her upshot's pretty solid, uh, solidly clean on that backside. Yeah, there was a little bit of a head crosswind on this hole while yeah. we were playing. Um, so right. it made biting off a whole lot of distance kind of difficult without flipping your discs over. Yeah. Yeah, that is correct. So Kat does a good job controlling her disc right to the middle of the fairway. She'll have kind of a hairy approach from there, but she yeah. can definitely make it happen. Mm -hmm. Boom. Sarah's playing that flip up real nice. Getting way down the fairway. <laughs> She's got a clean look too at her next shot. Paige looking to bite off a bunch of distance here. Maybe, yeah, it looks like she's trying to pin it. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe going to play with the uh, OB bunker. The way she was, like, lining it up is like, wow. Oh, it's perfect. Pretty, it's great. She'll have a putt. It's a real putt from there, for mm -hmm. sure. Wow. She's going to work in that right side. She gets tangled uh, up, but she'll be inside the circle. That's yeah, going to be tough with those bushes. It's kind of keeping her stroke a little <laughs> bit like uh on pure there oh, no oh, oh darn it you want to keep that a little lower there's so many branches there and they pretty much all filter down into that uh bunker oh sneaks through nicely yeah kind of flirts with ob there a little bit i think that's a smart play that katrina just did throwing it really low and letting working the skip because if she kicks any of those trees, whoo! Huge putt for two. Wow, that's such a great putt. Dang, separator. There's not gonna be many birdies on that hole. I hope I'm hoping to save her bogey. Oh, impressive par save. Wow. Wow, she was further back in there than I thought. Yeah, she was. I mean, was partly blind for sure. Um, and she had to throw it way higher than normal. So, very impressive. Katrina takes her par and moves on, no problem. Hokum not happy with how that hole went. Um, She's kind of having a rough go here at it. Hopefully, it cleans up on the rest of the round. Hole eight. There's no slouch here, so many trees. There is OB on the left hand side and the right hand side as well in the road. Uh, and then it, the OB wraps around long as well if, you're, if you go long. But um, just want to kick through these this wall of trees here to punch through a little hyzer shot at the basket. There's not really a pure line. It's like Lisa said, you just kind of want to punch something through yeah. um, and hope you don't hit a tree. Mm -hmm. um, and Good luck. There's, <laughs> there's so many trees. Oh, wow. Paige makes it look so easy. It's not. She actually goes Circle deep. edge. Nice rollback. That's not a problem that a lot of people Zero will have. Zero trees hit. Yeah. So good. Looks like a putter in Kristen's hand. I'm surprised with that play. That's. I think that's the... the gap I saw most often attacked is that inside gap. Okay. Uh... With yeah. a putter or a mid. There it goes again. Oh, it just goes a little high. Oh no, there's some <gasps> OB on the wow, left. That's really unfortunate to, to yeah. find the OB there. Yeah, there's a little marsh over there. The OB only goes about halfway up the fairway before it curves off. Oh, that's turning too much. Hokum will be safe. It rolls out nice. Cut rolls. I threw a forehand roller on this tee because I couldn't figure it out. Mm. Such Forehand a, roller. Yeah. That I got a birdie. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Uh -huh. Nice. Katrina is going to have a really tough, awkward stance with lots of trees and catches. Oh, uh, man. That's a mean kick. Was so mean. She throws a really pure putter forehand. Hope I'm looking at a long putt for two. Oh, almost. Kristen. Looking at a little uphill putt. A little awkward footing there in the bush. 
Oh, sweet. Again with the putting. Just continues to hit putts. Man. She's a machine. She's it's good got to it see it. Dialed. I know. Keep it up. Katrina trying to save a bogey. Good effort. It doesn't feel good to mess this hole up. I mean, not not that she messed it up because, I mean, it's just kind of a, it's not the greatest disc golf hole. Um, just an unfortunate kick there from the tee box to, to Lando B. And then yeah. such an awkward up and down from it just, there. It just feels like kind of a shooey oh, hole. Darn it. It's an unfortunate page. It was so wide open for that one. Yeah, it definitely feels like you're scrapping off the tee box. Yeah. Uh, it, you're scrambling. Uh, and uh, Like, bad shots can be rewarded and good shots can be, you know, get bad kicks. It's just... It's oh, funky, a little finicky. It definitely doesn't feel good to double bogey that hole. I know. Yeah. It feels a little dirty to mm -hmm. get that one. 233 feet. I mean, you'd think it would just be so easy. <laughs> sure. It's like, what can go wrong? So this is a really awesome disc golf hole. Um, there's a couple different options. You can attack it off the tee and try to get into this gap. I think we might see Kristen Tatar try that. Uh, or you can lay it up to the mouth and throw a little short approach and save your three there. Um, it's kind of a tweener hole. We won't see many twos, if any at all. Um, but definitely not quite a par four with the distance. So, Yep, Kristen going aggressive. Oh, it needs to come left. Wow. Oh my gosh. She's yeah. rewarded with that aggressive line. Wow, that gets through everything. What? Well, I, I didn't even I know that could happen. Speechless. <laughs> that was so amazing. Like most, it, most people that go in there just get eaten by these bushes uh, and have no approach. So that was just crazy. Yeah, her line was direct enough down that tunnel. It just... Yeah, still kind of shocked. That was amazing. Oh, wait, hello. Oh, no. Dang it, come back. Skip. Oh, Hokum's going to go out of bounds early, kinda, trying yeah. to work that backhand. Still trying to iron out some kinks. Katrina looks like she's leaving it a little far right as well. This is a tough one to hit that gap there. When you're tangled up in those bushes, there's just nothing to get to the basket. Oh no. Maybe she can find a, the Kristen gap. Okay. Paige gets just inside the mouth. She'll have a really long putt to save her par. Yep. Uh oh, so hard when you're a little when you're a little bit off on the fairway on that second shot. Yeah, Katrina grip locks it pretty bad, and she ends up in a place that you don't want to be. Hokum is also playing with that little area that Kristen just vaporized through. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wow, what a great out from Cat! Yes. Almost throws it in. Hokum with the same line. Safe. Yeah. Looks good. Now we're at Kristen's drive. Looks like she just kind of lays it up. Maybe she didn't have a line to the basket. Yeah. That's... Lots of trees in the way. Yeah. Paige running at it hard. It's a long putt. It's so tough. Yeah. She'll have to be okay with a, uh, with a bogey here. Bogey doesn't feel that bad on this hole, just because, like I said, it is sort of a tween. Yeah, it almost feels like a par four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Kristen with a very easy par, no problem. Oh no, Hokum with the triple bogey. She's she's not happy with that. It's a tough one. Well, it's gonna finish the front eleven here. And Paige and Kristen, wow, kind of pulling away. And Katrina even with five under. Mm -hmm. Really good. Uh, well, we're going to see a lot more birdies in the back 10. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this, watching these ladies crush some putts. Um, my name is Madison Walker. And I'm Lisa Vegas. Come, Come back and join us for the rest of the round. Yeah.